channel. If you're new here, I'm Meg. I make random videos on pretty much anything, makeup, unsolved murders, whatever, anything. Today I'm going to be doing a testing over on makeup. Um, I have one isn't usually a brand that I usually go for. Um, I've never really bought anything from there before. I know my mum has in the past, but my friend started doing it recently and I thought I'm going to help her out. I can make a video out of it, why not? So today we're going to get my honest opinions and review on Avon Makeup. So without further ado, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. So just as a heads up, I am literally balancing you on top of my tripod with a bubble attached to it to hold it in place just because my cat broke my tripod. Just my luck, I know. Anyway, I have primed. I've used this Magic Smart Magic Primer. It's just a face primer. I like it because it keeps all the oiliness of my skin just out of the way. It's quite mattifying, it feels quite smooth and soft. So it's got like a soft base for you to put your makeup, your foundation on. Anyway, going in with that same Mark Magic, so I'm going to take the eye primer before I drop it. And it's just like this like weird consistency now. I filmed this video once already and then I look back on it and I was like, absolutely not. I've got hay fever guys and my eyes were running, my nose was streaming and I was like, I cannot upload that to the internet. So this is the second time filming this. So if you like this video and you feel sorry for me, please give it a thumbs up. Anyway, moving on to the foundation, I'm just taking this Flora Secret Foundation in the shade Ivory. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two pumps on my beauty blender. I'm just going to dot it. I really like the coverage of this foundation guys. As you can see I have quite a lot of imperfections on my, um, on my chin. And this just really helps like cover that. This is the first time I'm using this apart from when I filmed it about half an hour ago but yeah I quite like this I'm just going to pop it on my nose I like my nose to be quite covered because I have a lot of pores that are like very visible on my nose and I just find that this this helps cover them and for me that's how I tell a foundation if it can cover the pores on my nose I will more than likely buy it again and wear it on a regular basis as like a normal foundation well it is a normal foundation but you know what I mean so once that is on as you can see on my nose that's covered pretty nicely I don't want this video to be too long guys so my other videos are actually quite long and no one's really going to watch them that too long so anyway I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm just taking this True Power 18 hour concealer. I'm just going to run that under my eyes. Just like this. Might have a bit more there. Do you know what guys? My eyes watering again. It watered at this point in the last video. I don't know if it's the concealer that I'm using. Like, can you see my eyes, how like, watery they are? It might be the concealer. I'm not going to say anything bad about it because when I filmed it the first time, I really like the coverage of it. Obviously, if, this is, if it is making my eyes water like this and making them sting. Even my nose again? What is going on? I generally do think it is high fever, guys, and not the concealer. I really like the coverage of that concealer though, so we'll probably end up using it again. So moving on to contour now. I did want to buy the bronzing pass because I find that they can be quite giving that orange tinge and make it look quite orange. So I had the idea to use a contour stick. In I actually meant shade, a concealer so stick rather than contour. I was using the concealer for I've contour. I'm liking how this is blending out, it blends out effortlessly like usually I find with sticks they take quite a bit of work to blend out but this is actually working really well. 
I'm happy with that. Thumbs up from me. So moving on, I'm going to set my face. Now, this is the, again, the Mark Magic's translucent setting powder. And I'm just taking the Jeffree Star brush. And I actually said, when I filmed this the first time, that I prefer this to the Makeup Revolution one. I have just filmed a video for the Testing Revolution makeup, the Revolution Pro one. But this is so much better because the Revolution Pro one actually kind of, it made me cough in the video when I filmed it and I'm not being a drama queen when I say that. But it was like really like dusty and it was like getting in the back of my throat. But this, as you can see, it's just like matty boyed everything down. So that's got a thumbs up for me, although it is white, so I probably won't use it that often because I don't like white powders. It gives you like a white cast, so when you take pictures with a flash on and you look white, it's because of the powder that's on your face. But moving on to brows now. I've had this before from Avon and as much as I like it, it doesn't have a spoolie on the end, so I'm just going to take my Revolution Pro spoolie and just brush my brows through. But before I do brows, I'm going to do eyeshadow. Anyway, I'm just going to take these morph brushes. Um, the thing I like about these eyeshadow palette is look how small the mirror is, as you can see. Now usually, like, if you do your makeup, you usually put your thumb on the mirror, don't you? And you get fingerprints on it, so that's why I like the fact that this is so high up. And the colours, they're not my usual go-tos, they're quite pink. And there is only two matte colours in this. The rest of them are like glitters. So that is a downside to the palette, but I am just going to run this through my crease. And I'm just taking the two matte shades, which are that one and that one. And then I'm going to go in with that shade there, just on a different brush, just a smaller brush. And I'm really just going to try and Darken up that outer corner. The pigmentation of these guys, it's so good. Like if you don't have a lot of money, or if you're just starting out with like your makeup, and you're not really sure what brands to go for, honestly, these are perfect. Because it gives you just enough shades to like play around with. I'm just going back in with the brush I started off with just to try and blend that out. And then from that, I'm just going to take a small like, pencil brush and I'm just going to go in with this shade here, this one. And I'm just going to really dive into that. To corner, I'm probably just going to go in with that shade there. And just... I don't feel like this shade shows up enough, whether it's because of the brush I'm using. I shouldn't be using this brush for glitter anyway, to be honest, guys. But, that will do. And then going back in with that small brush, I'm just going to go under there. I don't want it to be too much. That will do. So brows, we've brushed them through and I'm just going to go in with this and the thing that I like about these is it's so pigmented you don't need too much like you can get severe case of like sharpie brows with the heat so I just tend to run it through and then brush it out with a spoolie so I was kind of as though I was using like a brow gel just like lightly brush them and follow the shape I and mean, I don't really have a shape of brow at the moment but just like that and then the same on the other one. And then once I've done that, they look a bit severe, don't they? I'm just going to take, not that side, just the pencil from my Makeup Pro, Revolution Pro one, and just brush the product through so they look a bit more natural. But I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that eyebrow pencil at all. Before I cut myself off, as I was saying, I would highly recommend that pencil. 
Now it's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I can't remember how much I pay for it now. So next I've got this blush. Now this reminded me of the milk makeup, like the big chunky stick ones. And I'm just gonna put it just there. And then try and blend it out a bit. Like well, you could probably like try and warm it up on your finger first, and then like put it where you want it. But yeah, I really like that. So next, I have this. This is actually my mum's. It's a highlighter. Now my mum doesn't like an intense highlighter. She prefers a much like a subtle look. So again, this is the Magic Mark, whatever it's called, and it's just like a pale pink. And I'm just going to run that just after where I put the blush. Can you see? It's lovely that is. I really like this. Guys, I would highly recommend it on makeup. I will leave the link to the site down below. Um, if you know anyone that does it, then just message them and ask them if you can put an order in because it is so affordable and it's great. On my nose. But as you can see, the highlights are there, like it's not too intense, but I do like that. Sometimes I like an intense highlight, sometimes I don't. I'm now just going to go in with this True Ultra Volume Mascara. Now it is a big brush, so I'm just going to go in with this. Like, look how intense they make your lashes, guys. Obviously I've transferred a bit on top of my lashes, but that's fine. I'm now just going to go to the bottom. On this side. That'll do. I really like that mascara. Like, It could be intense if you wanted it to, and you really wanted to like make the full effect of your eyebrows, eyelashes. So now I'm going into the lip, and this is just the shade Perfection. And now I'm going to this Mark Plump It Gloss. I'm just gonna look at that gloss, look at the shine. And that there. Oh, it's going way over my lip there. That's it for today's video, guys. I think. I would repurchase this and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're in school or you just want like an everyday foundation and you don't want to spend too much money. This is great, like honestly, it's the best. I think the things I would recommend the most, it would definitely be the mascara, definitely the eyeshadow. I'm a massive fan of eyeshadow anyway. The primer, the foundation, and the highlighter if you wanted a more subtle look i would definitely recommend those i mean i'd recommend it all but just like my go-to ones those would be what i'd recommend um my lips are burning from that lip plumper but anyway guys that is it for today's video it's, as you can see in my eyes a bit of mascara on the top there um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.